I'm Andrew Kraft. Thanks so much for being with us here uh, on this very busy Thursday. We're a little past the top of the hour. It's a new hour, 4 o'clock here on the West Coast, 7 o'clock there uh, on the East Coast. We have breaking news that we want to get to right now. You'll remember if you were joining us uh, on midnight uh, on Monday, October the 1st, when those port workers went on strike. They went off the job onto the picket line. We are breaking in right now because the parties have reached a tentative uh, agreement here. We have live pictures. I'm going to bring some of them up here, not only in New York, but also there at the Port of Savannah in Georgia as well. Well, this is what we know. The union representing those 45,000 striking U.S. dock workers at ports up and down the eastern seaboard and the Gulf Coast well, they have reached a deal with the U.S. Maritime Alliance to suspend their strike until January the 15th to provide time to negotiate a new contract. That's according to a person briefed on the matter to Fox here. So the strike is over for now. Uh, there's this 90-day window uh, for talks to continue. This is tentative at the moment here. If talks break down past January 15th, presumably uh, the strike will go into effect. But they have bought themselves time here. The union, remember, the International Longshoremen's Association will resume working immediately, at least until January the 15th. The agreement will allow both the union and the U.S. Maritime Alliance, uh, which represents both the shippers and the ports here, time to negotiate a new six-year contract. Uh, so the person to the Associated Press also said both sides reached agreement on wage increases, uh, but details were not available here. Fox Business, though, does have the details. If no full deal is reached by then, by January the 15th, the offer that is on the table right now, that offer is a 62% wage increase. That hike will be pulled from the table if in the interim they cannot still agree on this here. This is a conditional offer. It's been made to the ILA. The ILA has accepted this right now, 62% wage increase here. Not entirely sure uh, if they have agreed or not on some of these other concerns these dock workers had, like the threat of automation to their jobs, also some uh, with regard to their retirement plans as well. This is what we know right now. The, the deal reached only matters right now with their base pay, with their wages, and they're getting a 62% hike. It's on the table, that offer for the next 90 days here. Uh, in the meantime, we are getting in right now a joint statement in from both parties. Uh, let's take that here. All right, so this is what they say. Uh, this is a joint statement between the ILA and the Maritime Alliance, quote, that the International Longshoremen's Association and the United States Maritime Alliance Limited have reached a tentative agreement on wages and have agreed to extend the master contract until January 15th, 2025 to return to the bargaining table to negotiate all other outstanding issues. Effective immediately, all current job actions will cease and all work covered by the master contract will resume here. Uh, so this was about a three and a half day strike here uh, we've covered a lot of union strikes here at Live Now. Uh, this one, not very long at all here. We do have live pictures. I believe this is in Red Hook in Brooklyn at the moment, a live picture there. And you can see it looks like uh, some of these striking dock workers who are no longer striking, uh, waving the American flag. You see there uh, our friend Fox's Connor Hansen. He's on the scene there in Red Hook in Brooklyn, of course. We know uh, the largest port on the East Coast. That's the port of New York and New Jersey here. Uh, we've been showing you some of these scenes throughout the last three and a half days here. Uh, so uh, this is happening very, very fast. Just happened within the last 30 minutes here. Let's put up some of these tweets. Uh, the Associated Press has it that the union representing 45,000 striking U.S. dock workers at East and Gulf Coast ports has reached a deal to suspend their strike until January the 15th to provide time to negotiate a new contract. Now, uh, this doesn't mean this is over by any means. All it means is 
that these dock workers, they will get back on the job. While the parties that represent them, the union that represents them, uh, led by the ILA president, Harold Daggett, he will be back at the table with the U.S. Maritime Alliance here. Now, the ILA this morning uh, put out uh, quite a testy, tense, long statement uh, on their Facebook page, uh, really criticizing members of the media. There was a piece in the New York Post just yesterday uh, kind of detailing, outlining uh, some of Harold Daggett's uh, lavish expenditures and mansion there, uh, talking about his lifestyle. Uh, and Daggett really went after the Post for that. He said the newspaper this week published aerial photographs of his New Jersey home, including posting his address in an article. He says they printed other details of his personal life full of false accusations against him with the sole intent on destroying his character and disparaging his 68-year ILA career with the intention of weakening his ability to negotiate a new master contract for ILA members. That was this morning. Uh, and my, how the hours have progressed and the news has progressed here uh, that the port strike has been suspended for now at least 90 days while the parties get back to the table. Uh, Detroit, the Associated Press uh, dateline has it that a source saying that the union for those 45,000 U.S. dock workers have agreed to suspend the strike until January 15th to provide time to negotiate their new contract here. Uh, so this is happening very fast. Of course, we rely so heavily uh, on global shipping analyst, our friend Sal Mercagliano, saying this on Twitter, word is officially out on the port strike. A 24-hour, dollar-an-hour raise spread across six years that amounts to 61% uh, and an agreement on container royalties and a committee that will be formed on automation in the ports. Remember, a lot of these dock workers were very concerned, rightfully so, you would imagine if you're a dock worker, that automation at these ports would threaten your job and would threaten your livelihood. It seems like now a committee will be formed on that very question here as well. Frank Luntz, our friend, the polling legend and analyst saying, striking U.S. dock workers and port operators have reached a tentative agreement for a wage hike of around 62%. That will end a three-day strike. Port work could resume as soon as Thursday evening. That's what we are hearing as well, that these dock workers, they're not going to wait till tomorrow, that they're going to get on the docks back to work in no time by sometime tonight here.